Hello everyone, welcome to Python Guides. My name is Vineet and today we will learn how to use Grid in Python Tkinter. So Grid is a layout manager that is used to position the widgets on the window. It could be a main window or a frame window. So uh, let's see the code. So I have already written a code over here. So we have imported everything from Tkinter. Then we have initialized a main window that is WS and we have provided a title, geometry and a background color. We have also declared a, a font that we will be a, a variable to the font. And then we have created a frame which we have uh, placed it using a pack layout manager so that we can uh, place the other widgets inside uh, at the center of the page, at the center of the window. And here you can see we have placed the buttons, multiple buttons, and all of these buttons are positions position using a grid layout manager grid accepts two or uh, two uh, necessary arguments one is row and the other one is a column so row is the uh, horizontal line on the table and the columns are the vertical lines vertical uh, lines yes. so here you can see if we move on to the first button let me run the program one so this is the program. It has total nine buttons, and each of them are placed using a position uh, using a grid layout manager. So at the first position we have seven, and the code for the seven is over here. You can notice that uh, we have placed it on our zero row and zero column. So zero row and zero column. This is the first row, first row, and the first column. Now. Number eight, we have placed it on zero row and first column. So this is the first column and this is the zero row. Zero row. It uh, works uh, on an indexing basis. That's why it is uh, zero and then one and then uh, two. Similarly, zero, one, two. Now let's see a few more features uh, with uh, of uh, grid. So if we want to add a padding to a, a padding inside the widgets, uh, with uh, widgets border, then we can use iPad X. So I will be applying that on this iPad on number five because it is in the center. Let's say I will give uh, iPad X is equal to iPad X. X means uh, right and left, and iPad Y equals to ten. iPad Y means top bottom. Now, if we run the program, you can see that. It has a border inside border and uh, the number five is appearing big now if i just apply if i if we want to provide external border to this program what we can do we can just simply go ahead and uh, provide pad x and pad y we just need to remove i i from the from this okay now you can see that the buttons are separated from each uh, from the five there is a border for four two six nine and uh, uh, also for eight so these all are uh, separated let me uh, let me go ahead and apply all of these like I, let me go ahead and apply ipad as well so you can notice the difference ipad x is equal to 10 ipad y equals to 10 okay So you now you can see that number five is number five is uh, like bigger than a uh, bigger the bigger button than all of these because it has an inside border and uh, it is separated from all of like all all of the buttons are separated from him because it has an external border as well. So this is how we can use pad X and iPad X and Y and another option in grid that is that is column span so what does the column span do it expands like it merges the columns into one so let's do it on the uh, number five column span equals to three so we are merging all the three uh, columns now we have to uh, remove number four and number six 
we just need to comment it. So we just need to comment the number four and number five, so that uh, number four and number six, so that you can see it properly. So now you can see uh, number five is like uh, it has moved from its position, but we are not able to see things, not uh, anything happening. So what what other uh, option that we can use is a sticky. It's, what does sticky do? It expands the uh, expands into a, a open space. It fills the open uh, available space. Sticky takes the uh, direction as a argument. So like we have north, east, north, south, east, west. Similarly, we can provide it over here. Since we need, since we want to expand into a right and left direction, so we will be providing east and west. East and west. So you can see it is filled now this much area like it is consuming two all right so this is uh, in this way like we need to remove this thing if we want to expand it to the entire space we need to remove the column so now you can see number five is in the center and it has uh, taken the space of number four and number six even if the number four and number six are active, they won't be appearing over here now. We have to remove it or we have to comment it down so that it won't appear. And uh, we have to place it using column span three. Like we have three rows available over here. That's why it is showing uh, expanded to three. Uh, one more important thing we have to notice, like many people uh, face this issue. If they want to expand to uh, apart from this three three like if you will if you want to expand over here or over here and you are trying to give it number four or number five let's say it won't do it won't uh, expand it to that place because there are no columns available over there it it simply merges the column so that is the thing that uh, you can keep in mind if you are trying to expand you have to provide extra column you have to create an extra column so with this, uh, we have completed the everything about grid. In case if you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you have any suggestions, please uh, leave it in the comment section. Also subscribe our channel to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.